Regardless, A-Drive, I have gathered three competent Pokemon to aid you as a Kenshi. Please make your choice wisely. The temporal presence is getting stronger. It's Celebi! Oh, I could have had a Ralts, dog. Butterfree, go! Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. But guys, a brand new Let's Play today. It is time for Pokemon Bushido Nuzlocke. And if you guys are excited, and I know you guys are, I know people have been asking me about my next Let's Play series, I need you guys to show some love and destroy that like button down below. Let's see if we get it 10,000 wow. likes for episode one. I'm super stoked. This game is a fan-made game, much like Pokemon Xenoverse. It is finished, to the best of my knowledge, and it basically takes place almost kind of like Legends Arceus. This was made before Legends Arceus was announced. But it's kind of like taking place in like a samurai type of setting in Japan, I believe. And you're apparently the child of a royal samurai. And there's a ton of different mechanics in this game that make it epic. And it is all the way up to Generation 8. I try not to spoil to myself too much before I jump into these kind of adventures. But I'll have a link to, in the description below to the official page of this fan-made game. And I'm excited for a new adventure. I want to address a couple quick things. Uh, Shining Sword is coming. I wanted to give the team as much time as possible to keep working on it. This series will be Monday, Wednesday, Friday mornings, 8 a.m. Eastern time as we normally do, with bonus episodes on Sunday if we hit the like goals. The only exception I just wanna say is that when Pokemon Snap comes out, just give me a little leeway there on uploads just because Pokemon Snap is gonna have me be pretty busy. But without further ado, let's jump into the world of Pokemon Bushido, baby. So I think I have the controller right, I'm not sure. I may have to remap my controller, but I'll, I'll come back to that later. Long ago, and it is in the feudal era, so this is a really nice warm-up to Legends Arceus. Uh, and like I said, this was made before Legends Arceus was announced, so just kind of a coincidence, but really cool. I felt like it was a good fit for the channel. Long ago, in the feudal era of the Pokemon universe, there was a time before the existence of trainers. Instead, Kenshi roamed the regions training both their Pokemon and their swordsmanship. Among the Kenshi, the prospect of honor and respect were of the utmost importance. The codes that were taught these virtues to the people were known as the Codes of Bushido. Boom. There you guys know it. And here's the map, here's the rundown. Since the time of our ancient ancestors, the prosperous Aisho region has survived due to the clans that protect us. When the young children come of age, they are sorted into a clan in accordance with their affinity and capability with specific Pokemon typings. The three major clans protect us and fight for us, acting as our sword and shield. The grass type Kamorai clan, the fire type Nensho clan, and the water type Shimizu clan. I'm gonna butcher so many pronunciations in this let's play, so just try not to judge me too hard. They all work in harmony to protect us. Underneath these clans are the minor clans, representing the lesser types. Oh, I didn't know about this. All of the clans work together and live in peace due to the Bushido Code of Honor that has been established in Aisho society. I kind of want to like pick whatever clan has bug type as, as the, the minor clan, but... But the most important and honorable Kenshi of all, Ryo Masayoshi, has final authority over the clans. Known as the Royal Samurai, he is given the opportunity to directly protect the Shogun and the nobles. Now the time has come, this is Tsukiro. Now the time has come for the two of you, the two of you, to join these clans and serve the glorious Aisho region. Very soon you will both graduate past my instruction and participate in the Kenshi tournament to prove your abilities. Now, as a formality, I will need you to provide your name and gender to participate in the tournament. I'm gonna play as a guy character, and my name, you already know. Adra, baby. I am indeed. I have high expectations for you. You are the child of Ryo Masayoshi, and you will bring honor to the Masayoshi name. Chapter 1, Honor Lesson. So you can already see this game is gonna be a very different Pokemon experience for us. The same great Pokemon with some different vibes. Look at that already, yo! Rock Raw, Farfetch'd, here's Sekiro. This concludes our lessons for today. Does that mean, yes, Akane. I'm gonna call her Akane. I don't know if that's how you say it. If it's a cane or Akane, we're gonna go with Akane. I'm gonna do my best, guys. Again, this is not, this is not my specialty. <laughs> you will be graduating. Aw, oh, nice, we did it, A-Drive. We can finally become Kenshi. Isn't that cool? 
Have patience. Before your ceremony, we must conduct one final test to see if the two of you are truly prepared to graduate. Aw, oh, really? Come on, we were so close too. This exam will test your preparation to the highest degree. Firstly, Akane, list all of the Kenshi clans that exist in Aisho. Uh, well, there's Nensho for fire, Shimizu for water, and Kamore for grass. Uh, I don't know, I give up. Very well, you listen to the three major clans. Good work, but there are also minor clans to remember as well, such as the ice type Yuki clan and the bug type Konchu clan. Bleh, bugs, I hate bugs. Akane, do you know who you are standing next to right now? You are standing next to the bug mastermind, your boy Dan, AKA Drive. And by the way, I guess it's a good time to tell you that this is a Nuzlocke. Let me break down those Nuzlocke rules. First encounter on each route. We catch it, we nickname it, we have it in our party. If it faints, it's gone, goodbye. Static encounters are extra. We can always grab static encounters because we don't know what the story is gonna be. And that's that's pretty much it. It's a Nuzlocke rule, permadeath, baby, let's get it. Oh, I'm gonna try to keep to the three potions per battle rule, cause you know. I hate bugs. Well, I hate you. A-Drive, answer this question. What are the honorable Pokemon users called in the ice shell region? Uh, Kenshi? Good job, A-Drive, that is correct. Pokemon Kenshi wander the region and search for strength and honor. A-Drive, cry this question as well. Who are the Katanas of Bushido? I actually know this. It's Kabalion, Virizion, and Terrakion. Very good. The Katanas of Bushido are said to serve as inspiration for the Kenshi of the land. Only the Royal Samurai has been graced with their presence. So in this game, the three legendary Musketeers, uh, Kabalion, Terrakion, and Verizion are very important in this game. They serve as, as kind of like the main legendaries, I guess, but I think that they have some other roles as well. Who knows if Keldeo has an impact here as well. Now, as a final rite of passage, I would like to challenge you to a battle drive. I will give you a temporary Pokemon to use for our trial battle. This is gonna be good. I think this is our starter selection. Let us begin. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. So what I do know about this game that's very interesting is it uses like mid-turn battle effects. And I think we're probably gonna see that here. We are challenged by Sensei Sakuro. He's gonna send out a Rockruff and it's level 15. I'm gonna send out a Mianfu level 15 as well. Question time, A-Drive. So it's like Opal's Gym. Think Sword and Shield Opal's Gym. That's how this game is gonna play out. What is the Kenshi's most important moral code? The Code of Honor. As expected, my student, brilliant! And we actually get a boost, an attack boost as a result of that. So I'm gonna click, I mean, there's no reason to not fake out. We always click fake out, right? I mean, that's the play. Rock rough flinch, couldn't move. And then I think I click reversal, which I don't know if it KOs, but yeah, it doesn't quite KO. He goes for Leo to drop my defense, that's fine. Oh, another one. Prepare yourself for another question, A drive. What is a Kenshin source of power? The katana. Oh, it's the Pokemon! Katanas and spears are effective weapons in their own right. A Kenshi's true strength comes from the bonds they establish with their Pokemon. And I get a defense drop. So you can already see how that can make this game very challenging. If I don't pay attention, if I make mistakes like that, like I already made a mistake, that could be very problematic. Here comes a Slugma. Um, I have a defense drop, what else? I have a Goldina and a Taylo. We'll go Goldine just to like kind of speed this battle along and use our type effectiveness. Goldeen feels very fitting in this in this setting. We'll take some damage there. You're doing well, J -Drive, A Drive, but are you prepared for another question? Answer me this. What determines the clan that Akenshi will join? Affinity. Well done, A Drive. There it is. The correct answer is affinity, which is determined by the strength of Akenshi's soul. Oh, so I I my my decision might might be chosen for me. We do have water pulse though, that should do a lot of damage to Slugma. Doesn't quite KO. He's gonna incinerate again. Animations look really clean. Love the UI in this game already. Very clean battle style UI. Background looks good. Very excited about this one, team. I'm very excited about this one. I've heard some very good things. And a big shout out to Bryce Soon, by the way, who's an A-Drive army member who hit me up and told me that I should check this game out, so. All right, A-Drive, prepare yourself for my final and hardest question left. What type of Pokemon is strongest against the Shimizu clan? Oh my God, I have no idea. The Shimizu clan, that was the water one. So I think it's electric. Yeah, the Shimizu clan have water affinity. So electric is the, qu the correct answer. Oh man, I got a lot of learning to do. I'm gonna just click water pulse since I got a special attack boost. I probably get knocked out, but ooh, a nice confusion there. If he hits himself, we get the KO. He gets the rock smash off and Goldeen is very weakened. Um, Do I just go Taylo? What do you got for me, Taylo? 
Here's the UI. Sassy, Guts, Wing Attack. I mean, I would think Wing Attack would knock him out. Um, I'll just go Taylor. We'll use everybody on our team. Obviously, this battle is kind of meant to be won. I'm not going to have anyone go down because imagine if, like, I get to keep these Pokemon there. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm having something go down because Taylor's about to go down. But I'll go for the Wing Attack here. That should be good enough. Yeah, sweet. All right, so we beat, uh, we beat the dude. A lot of XP there. Oh, yeah, level 16 for the Pokemon that we're not keeping. You're quite the incredible student. You'll become a great Kenshi, just like your father. Give me that money. Good job, A-Drive. Even with that team of training Pokemon, you managed to emerge victorious. Truly astounding. That concludes our final exam. Oh. That concludes our final exam. You have been a great student this far, and I am eternally grateful for your diligence these past few years. Akane, your burning passion for Pokemon never ceases to amaze me. I can tell that you will blaze through any obstacle that may come through your path. May you prosper in your honorable journey as a Kenshi. Thank you, Sensei. I am in your debt. A drive. You may now be known as the child of the Royal Samurai, but in the future, you will make your own name for yourself. Your life is only just beginning. Take great strides, leaps, and bounds and become a warrior to be remembered. With that, it is time for your true graduation. The official Kenshi Inchi Initiation Tournament will be happening in Hagane City, the capital of the Aisho region. I will be meeting you both there, but first, Adrab, it is your time to make an important decision. Both of you, meet me at Nagisa Bay. You know how to get to Nagisa Bay, right, Adrab? It's to the right of the dojo, down the stairs. And I think that that is where we will make our selection for our Pokemon. So, let me figure out what the controls are real quick. That's how I pull up my bag. That's how I run, so that's really good. I do think there is a speed up button. Maybe not. I'll have to look into that. Oh, wait, that might be toggleable. Yeah, I think it's toggleable. Yeah, there is a speed up, so I do have that as an option um, for training and stuff, which is always appreciated. So we're gonna come out here. There's a, oh my God, Ezo Village. There's like a Riolu chilling out. I wonder if Pokemon, oh, there's a, um, what is it called? A Komodo girl. All right, well, let's head because we got to get our Pokemon. There's a Snivy, this little girl going back and forth. There's like a well over here. The well is empty. This looks so sick. I'm a great fisherman. Oh, he, please give me an old rod. There's a Sandy Gas at the beach, a TM, it looks like. Yo, this is sick. I like this art style. What if I talk to the Sandy Gas? Okay. And here we are. We got some berries. Can I take them? Oh, I can take them. Okay. So that's kind of clutch. Uh, and here it is. I think this is where we get to choose our starter. The time has come for you to receive a Pokemon, A-Drive. That's right, you're finally getting a Pokemon. I don't need to choose one of my Sensei starters. I've got my trusty Darumaka. I think my Darumaka is cooler than anything Sensei could offer. Yes, Akane has already a capable partner by their side. As part of the Hashimoto family, Darumaka and Darmanitan are almost compulsory. The Hashimoto family of sculptors never lets you down. Regardless, A-Drive, I have gathered three competent Pokemon to aid you as a Kenshi. Please, make your choice wisely. And it's Trico, Oshawott, and Fennekin. That is a very difficult decision. I'm gonna be real with you guys, but I think I know exactly who I gotta pick. All right, listen, for those of you who've been around on the channel for a long time, you already know about Volt White. We did a Volt White playthrough, and we had the legendary Poseidon on the team. So I'm going with the little homie Oshawott, who normally I would say, honestly, I would be a Trico fan. Like I would normally probably take Trico if I'm being real, but we got to give the shout out. We got to do the throwback to Poseidon. Absolutely legendary. If you've never seen the Voltway playthrough, it's a great playthrough, but we got to have this on our team. And it also gives me an advantage against the Darumaka, which I think is a smart play, but that's not why I'm doing it. I see. So you have chosen Oshawott, a wise choice. Hopefully this Pokemon shall lead you to victory in your upcoming battle in the Kenshi tournament. Before you depart, there are a few things you will need to take with you. 10 healing jams. So they don't use potions in this game. They use healing jams. Again, this is way back in the day. This is a different time period. They do have Pokeballs though, which is nice to know. I trust that you know how to use Pokeballs and healing jam that I have trusted you. If you ever catch too many Pokemon, one of my special talent flame can take it to storage for you. My talent flame can also fly you to towns throughout the region once you discover them for yourself. And one more gift for you. You will need this to get into the Kenshi tournament in Hagane City. You got Sekiro's letter. This letter can be used to get into the Kenji tournament. You put it away. All right, I bid you farewell for now. All right, let's go, Darumaka. All right, so she's gonna take a Darumaka. He's gonna bounce out of here. And we have our little Poseidon chilling on the squad, doing things. Is there an item up here? 
I always like to check for random items. Let's take a look at him. He is our starter. I'm very excited about him. He has Jolly Nature, which honestly is okay. He's Torrent. Um, so physical attacks are going to be best for him. I do like when he has Shell Armor. That was so good for us on a Nuzlocke, but that's okay. I'll take it. Let's explore around, see if there's anything I can do here. Uh, I don't think there will be anything, but we obviously are back in the village now. He doesn't want to battle me. Okay, that's good. All right, well, let's let's look around. I, I don't think I can get anything until I have Surf or whatever. So I think I just have to keep exploring. So this is Akane's house, and you can see that her family house has the Darmanitan and Darumaka. That's her parents, I'm assuming. They seem like very quaint and lovely people. And there's the Talonflame that likes to kind of travel around so you can fly and do different things. And this is our aunt, and she's going to give us some orange berries. And I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And we're going to get the Ice Show Journal. Which is cool, and we get a map as well. And I think, oh, one more thing, what do you got for me? A special charm that belonged to my father. Ryo's charm, a special charm for the Royal Samurai. All Pokemon in the party gain experience from battles went on. Oh, experience share, okay. I'm not, listen, I, I feel like if the game wants to give me an experience share, I will take the experience share. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go grab some of those orange berries, and I'm gonna give one to Poseidon, right? Because the Nuzlocke has officially begun and we need to make sure that we are protected. And he does follow me, which I love. We need to make sure we are protected. So, um, who's this guy? Yom Kenshi, before you leave, have you ever been to the local well? I've heard tales that you can find great things there. Regardless, I bid you farewell on your journey through the ISO region. All right, so the well is over here. There's something in the well. Would you like to stick your hand in? A slow poke attack! First encounter, baby! And it's a Galarian Slowpoke. Yo, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's the first encounter. Um, let's go for Tackle. I'll get that first encounter. I mean, I wish I was able to get something that wasn't a water type. Because I already have a water type. But I mean, that's okay. I have to be kind of careful. This thing is uh, cursing up on me. I have to probably be very careful. Because if he curses, he could actually deal some massive damage to me. I probably have to start chucking Pokeballs at him. Uh, we definitely have to start chucking Pokeballs at him. So let's catch him. And let's see here if I Let's just see what happens. I think I think we'll catch him though. He's in the red. He's only level four. Galarian Slowpoke is pretty cool though. And we got him on the first try, baby. That's what you love to see. We got this slowpoke, which I love. And I'll rock with him, man. And we're gonna get a level of the level six there on the capture. And Slowpoke's data is added to the journal. So Galarian Slowpoke, pure psychic type. He's actually not a water type. I forgot. He's just pure psychic. So let me come up with a cool name for him. All right, I'm gonna take a page out of uh, Hayden's book. We're gonna name it Paula. Oh, wait, hold on. How do I go back? Okay, there we go. We're gonna name it Paula. And we've got Paula on our team now. Let's take a look. She's a little weakened. Well, let's see how she's doing. She's got a quiet nature. Oh my God, that. <laughs> They're gonna give me quiet nature right out the gates. That's just too kind. Thank you very much. You can have this orange berry. And we'll have to heal you up. I think our parents will probably heal us up in our house. Hey, thanks, Ma. Oh, you could change your outfit? Oh, I don't have any other clothes. Okay, well, that's cool that there's different outfits to wear, so who would have thunk it? But I think I can move forward now. Uh, this is Sakura Pass, where the pink petals dance. And I think that's our rival. <laughs> I think she's just chilling right there. You good? Hey, Trav, I knew I'd catch you here. Well, uh, obviously, considering there's no other route to get to Hakane City, but that's besides the point. Before leaving, I wanted to take care of something first. That's right, you and I are gonna have a battle. I hope you're ready to feel the flames of my passion. All right, well, let's battle then. Here we come. All right, what do you got? Akane, our rival, kicking things off here. And I'm assuming she's just gonna have her Darumaka, and she does. Level four Darumaka. Battle music is amazing, by the way. Prepare to face the force of my ultimate Pokemon, signature technique, Hashimoto Might. Bro, he just get an attack boost right out the gate? Excuse me. How do you how do you beat that if you have a Snivy though? Or a Trico? I have no idea, but if, I, maybe it doesn't have a fire move yet. I'll take it though. What? There's no way you can beat me so easily. Well, I did. Nice, I can already tell you have potential as a Kenshi. I can't wait to see what affinity you have. Oh, so I get to figure that out later. What are you waiting for? I'll hear your Pokemon real quick. Oh, I don't need it, girl. Let me tell you, I don't need it. Come on, let's go to Hagane City. All right, so I think, well, here's our, our encounter. Uh, I do get an encounter in this patch of grass. 
So, let's see what it's gonna be. Our first encounter outside of the slow. Oh, there's a TM over there. There's Picky Pack, too. Our first encounter is gonna be. A Picky Pack! Level 7 Picky Pack. Alright, I'll take it. Uh, let me chip this thing down a little bit. Chuck a Pokeball and add it to our team. It's level 7, so it's pretty strong. Alright, Pokeball, go! Stay in the Pokeball, Picky Pack, pretty please. I would love to add you to the team. I'm all about it. And we do catch it, so that's pretty sweet. Toucan Samantha out here. Almost level nine. And we're gonna get a level there on our Paula. It pecks at trees with its hard beak. Normal flying, obviously. And we will name it. This is gonna be Toucan Sammy. We're gonna name you Sammy. I like it. I do wanna heal though, just in case. Um, just cause, you know, it got, it's weekend and I wanna use it. So let me go heal and then we'll battle the trainers. And here is Sammy, Toucan Samantha. She's got gentle nature, keen eye. Peck, Echoed Voice is kind of sick though. Honestly, Echoed Voice is very good at this stage of the game, so I'm all about that. That works for me, so let's keep moving. Let's run ahead and battle some trainers on Sakura Pass. Sakura, Sakura Pass. I told you guys I'm gonna mess things up, don't judge me. All right, I think this guy wants to battle. Prepare for an honorable duel. It's time to it's got a Cherubi right out the gates, level five, okay. And I forgot to ask this earlier, guys, but if you're gonna play this game, oh, show me your honorable battle style. Oh, he just legit gets a defense boost. Uh, if you guys are gonna play this game, who would you choose as your starter? Would you pick uh, Trico, would you pick Oshawa, or would you pick Fennekin? I never asked the question, so that's our question today. Feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Now, you got a defense boost. I'm just gonna click Echo Voice, because it's gonna get stronger every turn, and I'm gonna kind of mow through you if I do that, so I'm all about it. Let's keep clicking Echo Voice. Cherubi goes down, easy peasy. And Poseidon gets a level, Sammy gets some love. And here comes a Snivy. So that is what you chose. You have Grass Pokemon, you're gonna tackle me, but I'll finish you off. Uh, my Berry activates and my Echo Voice will finish off the Snivy. So overall, pretty easy stuff here out the gates. But, uh, oh, nice levels there. Level nine, Paula learns Acid, which is really solid. And right, thank you for the honorable duel. Oh, so if you interact with Pokemon, you encounter them. Okay, lesson learned there. That means that we could, in theory, get, um... So I obviously have to kind of tweak rules a little bit for that. So, I think what I'll allow myself to do is, if I have not gotten my encounter on that route, I can choose to grab one of those, but obviously I'm not gonna count every single one of those as a static encounter. That seems a bit, a bit much. G-Con Shrine Pay to the Gods of Time. Well, let's go take a peek. You feel a faint temporal presence near the shrine. Do I get another encounter here? I wonder what's going on at the shrine. The temporal presence is getting stronger. It's Celebi! We're graced with a mythical Pokemon right out the gates. Celebi wants to show me something earlier. Ryo Masayoshi, as the Royal Samurai, I am prepared to entrust you with a great task. Anything, my lord, your wish is my command. Good, very good. Your task is to investigate Yami Island, the residing place of the Akui clan. As you may know, there have been rising suspicions regarding the Akui clan's activity. It is your duty as the Royal Samurai to investigate this matter. Of course, I will depart immediately. Good, very good. Yami Island, not the best place, but let's do this, Celebi. We meet again, Mr. Royal Samurai. No, it can't, it can't be you. Zorark, Dark Pulse. <laughs> Looks like we made it in time. Uh-oh. A little birdie told us Celebi would be showing up here. It's not what we were looking for specifically, but who would pass on the chance to snag a Celebi? Shadow Celebi. That has a nice ring to it. Let's get rid of this meddlesome child. Let's. And it looks like we are battling the Akui clan right out the gates. And we'll have to see what they're working with. He's got two Pokemon gonna lead off with a Sandile. Level seven, okay. We have a type advantage here, so I think I'm okay. He does have the Intimidate, but that's not really a concern. Let's make this battle interesting, shall we? Oh, yo, he just threw spikes on the field. Yo, 
So they can not only give like boost, but they can also throw hazards on the field. They legitimately just chuck spikes on the field right out the gates. And he's gonna home claws. So hopefully I don't miss. Hopefully I don't miss. Okay, good. We got rid of Sandile. That's a good start for us. Good job, Poseidon. Legend. Paula gets a level there. And here comes a Poochie and Shadow Poochie. Bro, what? Shadow Blitz! Oh, it's super effective! It entered hyper mode! Hyper mode attack hurts the opposing Pochiena. It came to his senses. Uh, what? Oh my god, I got the cr a crit, bro! I needed that crit, I was about to get wrecked! I thought it was over for a second! Oh my god! You can't stop the great Akui clan. Impossible. I have to do everything around here, huh? Oh, I gotta battle another one. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Let's see what this one's got. Two Pokemon as well. Gonna lead it off with a Toxel. I gotta switch. The Akui clan never falters. Take this, and it's Toxic Spikes. All right, well, listen. They did heal me up. The good news is Paula... Oh, Paula's a poison, a psychic type. Okay, so Paula doesn't want to just come in on that. Um, ooh, do I stay in and hope he doesn't really have a good water move or electric move? I think I do. It's a Toxel. He growls. Okay, good, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, I gotta minimize my switches because we're gonna end up getting toxic. They legit just threw toxic spikes on the field. We learned water spore. That's useless. And here comes a Nicket. Looks like it's time to get serious. Akui clan technique, shadow style, clones of darkness. Oh, he gets an evasiveness boost. And it's a shadow nicket. I don't miss. Shadow hold, I can no longer escape. And I missed. Shadow blitz. Okay, he doesn't do as much as the Puchiana did though. Okay, I hit that one as well. He's gonna home claws. I got a hit. If we keep missing, we're gonna be in trouble. I can't switch out. Poseidon already doing what Poseidon does. Holding up that trident. Ready to rock. Paula gets to level eight. Sammy to level nine. Learned rock smash. The boss isn't gonna be pleased with this. You know what? Maybe Celebi isn't worth it. Yeah, doesn't it belong to the royal samurai? Definitely don't wanna mess with nobility. Let's scram. Okay. Celebi is holding a rusty katana. You obtain the ancient katana. It's a rusty old katana with a mystical aura. You put it in your key items. Yo, this is sick. Celebi teleported away and Oshawa comes back out. So I don't know what this rusty katana is for. It was handed down by the royal samurai Rio. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it if it just comes out in battle, but I'm gonna try to grab an encounter. And it's a Farfetch! I don't know if my Katana does anything, but I will... Ooh, I don't want to knock this thing out. Uh, let me go Paula. And I'll try to weaken this thing without knocking it out. Because I, I would love to have a Farfetch on the team. Like, that'd be pretty hype. He's going to Leer. I'm pretty sure I can safely go for a Tackle here and have no problems. He goes for Pack, but we're pretty bulky. Get a nice Tackle off. I'll Tackle again, and then I should be able to catch this Farfetch. This should be solid. All right, let's see it. One... Two. No, nope, he broke out. All right, well then, now we know. I gotta weaken him a little bit more, or try, I'll try again, actually. Okay, I may fail this. I only have three Pokeballs left. I've been trying to catch him, but he doesn't want to stay in the Pokeball. Um, he keeps breaking out. Yeah, I may lose this encounter. I can't attack him again, and I, Paul is actually getting weakened too. I can't attack him again. I think I'm gonna knock him out if I try. So I got two tries left to try to get this Farfetch, man. Come on, dude. I don't want to lose an encounter already. Why are you so hard to catch? I don't think there's any way I can weaken him any further. I think if I do anything, I'm going to knock him out. Rock Smash, maybe. Maybe I could Rock Smash. Let me look. What's Paula's attack stat? 15. What's Sammy's attack stat? 20, dude. There's no way. There's no way. I just got to eat a Pokeball, guys. My last attempt. If I don't catch him, I don't catch him. I, I really wanted this Farfetch'd. Fighting types are nice. Bro, I lost the encounter. 
What are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? I might, I might lose this guy too. I gotta switch out. Uh, I'll go Sammy. I'll knock him out. We'll just get the XP. Unfortunately, we don't get an encounter in this area. I'm a little disappointed about that because I feel like anything you can add to the team at this point in the game is a good thing. But uh, it just wasn't gonna work out for us. So I'll knock out the far fetch. I'll get a couple XP, and uh, that's that. Unfortunately, man. I'm a little bummed, dude. I'm a little bummed about that. I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's battle you. What do you got for me? You are, uh, you there. Are you headed to the Kenji tournament? You are. In that case, let me see what you're made of. I am indeed headed there. That is where I'm going. Young Kenji Tojiro. And he's got a Farfetch'd, which I almost added to the team, but I didn't. And I've got Sammy. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what you got. Uh, he is going to get a speed boost. I'm going to just go for Peck, honestly. Yeah, we should be just fine here with Sammy, I think. Sammy gets to level 10. Poseidon gets to 12. Here comes a Purloin. I think I just click Rock Smash here. Probably just beat this thing up. Yeah, no problem. Sammy's very strong right now. Very good early game Pokemon. Good attack stat. Yeah, I'm definitely teaching this thing Yawn. Yawn is a super good move. Anytime you can put something to sleep is good. So, all right. Let's grab these items. There's a TM over here, if I'm not mistaken. Get some berries. And this attack move's power is doubled if the user's been hurt by the opponent. In the same turn. Scroll 42. So that sounds like reversal to me. Revenge. Oh, revenge rather. So I have the revenge scroll. I don't know if this is a one-time use. I can't use it anyway. It would have been nice for the far fetch, But I don't know if it's a one-time use or what the deal with the scrolls are. But we'll have to figure that out. I'll do it. Exp oh, I could have had a Ralts, dog. I could have had a Ralts. I could have had a Pancham too. Oh my god. this is They're teasing me with these encounters. They're teasing me with the encounters, bro. I'm not even going to lie. It makes, I mean, I lo Sammy's good. Don't get me wrong. Sammy's good, but they're teasing me. And the fact that I lost that Farfetch has me a little salt. I'm not going to lie. I just got beaten by some rude Kenshi with red hair, and now I'm mad. I won't lose twice. You don't know who you're about to face, though. That's the issue. I don't think you realize this. Oh, you got a Fomantis. That's cute. Oh, level nine. Wait a minute. Things just got a little stronger all of a sudden. And going to get it a boost, and it gets a special attack boost. So I got to click Peck here. We should be okay. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to level... Fomantis. And what else you got? A Pancham. We got the right Pokemon on the field right now. He's gonna taunt me. That's okay. I'm not I'm not concerned at all. Sammy is doing very big things right now. Easy KOs for Sammy. Gets to level 11. And here comes a Baneri. And I have Rock Smash for that. This thing is so good early game. Oh my god. Sammy. Toucan Sammy. She loves Fruit Loose, by the way. And focus energy, I, I I do kind of like that, actually. I'm going to give him focus energy. Okay, so if I press F, I can pull out my katana, but I don't know what it does. Oh, you use it to cut trees. Okay, so we have a katana that can cut trees. Oh, there's shaking patches of grass? What is that? Yo, Cherubi would have been sick, too. So many cool mons. Oh, I can cut this pet, this tree right here. And I will cut it down with my ancient katana. And I can access the berries. And there's a Floet too. And I think that's the town as well. I grab my patch of berries. There's that shaking patch of grass. I wonder what that is. That's sick that they have shaking patches. I kind of want to see. What is this the town? Yeah, this is Agane City. So I kind of want to see if I can sneak up on that patch of grass. Like, Of course, I run into something else. Looks like I got to beat this Pancham to move forward. That's kind of cool. They use Pokemon to like block the routes as well. So I have, I'm like forced to battle this thing. So I'll peck it, but we should be able to beat it. He's pretty bulky. Oh, we just crit him. You gotta love that. You gotta just love it. Sammy doing work today. And now I can move forward to this cave. I wonder what this is. Sakura Cave. So I can grab an encounter here and I definitely want to. Like I definitely feel like grabbing an encounter right now is always the play. Of course, I can't see if there's any encounters for me to grab, but... There's got to be a way that I can see in here. I don't want to go to... Oh, well, let's see what it's going to be. Probably Geodude. It's a Diglett. All right, word. Oh, I don't have any Pokeballs. What am I doing? Bro, I choked it. I forgot I didn't have Pokeballs, bro. I just failed two encounters already. This is going swimmingly. <laughs> it's my own fault, dude. It's my own fault, team. I choked two encounters. It's my own fault. I hope I don't regret it later. I mean, it's, it was Diglett and Farfetch. Like, well, to be fair, not entirely my fault. Kind of my fault. This this fail encounter is definitely my fault. The, the, the Farfetch really isn't my fault. Not much I can do about that. I don't get a Diglett. 
What are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? Uh, Alright, I need to get Pokeballs before I do anything. So, let's not mess this up again. Pretty please. Oh, we could have had a Pichu. Look at that. That would have been mad cute. Probably would have failed it too. All right, I think this is where our journey ends for today on Pokemon Bushido, our first episode. I hope you guys are excited, and if you are, please show some love. Destroy the like button down below. I want to see 10,000 likes for a brand new series. I know the A-Drop Army can do it. I know you guys can. And don't forget, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, bonus episodes on Sunday. If you guys hit those like goals, the first episode will have it a high like goal, but we'll lower it as we move forward, of course. Thank you guys again. Let me know what starter you would pick. And if you want to join me on my Bushido journey, you're welcome to do so. Please, as always, do not spoil the game in the comments. Do not spoil the game for me, man. I love to read my comments. I love to respond to you guys. Please don't ruin the game for me. I ask that very nicely. If you want to give me hands, give me hands. But don't spoil things. It's very simple. If you spoil, I will ban you from commenting on my channel ever again. I'm serious. I can shadow ban you. And then you just comment. No one will ever see it again. So don't do that. Please, please, pretty please. Thank you. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Bushido. That's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Like the video. Subscribe so you don't miss out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Butterfree, go!